Kia ora everyone. Today I've got a non-fiction book to share with you. It's called Now I Know What's Under the Ocean. This book is written by Melvin and Gilda Berger and it's published by Scholastic. Look at the ocean. It is very big. Did you know oceans cover most of planet Earth? It is very deep. What lives under the ocean? Fish do. Some are large. Can you see the magnifying glass? It's zooming in to show you the huge mouth of this fish. And some are small. Some come in beautiful bright colours. Look who's swimming by. A shark. And you see the zooming in on the photo of the shark's teeth. What shape are the shark's teeth? One kind of shark has a head like a hammer. Here is a giant sea turtle. Did you know sea turtles can swim faster than humans? Sea turtles have flippers, not legs. Can you see the biggest animal in the ocean? It is the blue whale. Did you know a blue whale is as long as three school buses. Here come some of the smallest animals in the ocean. This is a tiny seahorse. A baby dolphin swims with its mother. They jump up, they dive down. Let's go deeper into the ocean. Can you see a creature on the ocean floor? Do you know what this is? That's right, it's a stingray. Can you see how clever it is at camouflaging with the ocean floor? It's the same color as the ocean floor to make it hard to see. Sponges live down here. Did you know sponges are animals too? Corals live here too. What else lives here? Lots of fish and other animals live on the coral reef. Did you know millions of corals make up a coral reef? Do you see the crab? Let's zoom in. Can you see its pincher? Here it is here. Don't get in its way. It may pinch you if you do. Seaweeds are plants. Some are very small and some are very, very long. Can you see the diver swimming under a tunnel of seaweed? Millions of animals and plants live in the ocean. The ocean is their home. This page is called the glossary. It gives us more information about the different creatures mentioned in the story. As I read the glossary to you, have a look at the pictures around the outside. See if you can see which ones refer to the words we're talking about. I wonder if you can find out some more information from what we've already learnt from listening to the story. First word is coral. Tiny, a tiny sea animal. Corals leave their stony skeletons behind when they die. The coral reef is an underwater structure built up from the skeletons of huge numbers of tiny animals called coral. The crab, a sea animal with a hard shell, eight legs and two claws. Here's the dolphin, a kind of small whale with a long snout. Can you see the long snout on these dolphins? A fish is an animal that swims and breathes underwater. And the ocean is huge bodies of salt water, 
oceans cover most of the earth. Can you see the blue in the photo down here of the earth? That's all the oceans surrounding the countries. Seahorse is a small fish with a head like a horse and a curly tail. Sea turtle, a large turtle that lives in the sea or the ocean. Seaweed, a plant that grows under the ocean. Seaweed can be any size from tiny to giant. A shark is a fish with very sharp teeth. Sharks eat other sea animals. A sponge is a sea animal. A sponge's body has many holes to take in water and food. And a whale, a large sea animal that looks like a fish, but it is not a fish. Whales are mammals that breathe air. What have you learnt about from the story What's Under the Ocean? I wonder if you could write or draw a picture about three things that you've learnt from listening to the story. Remember to share these with your teacher and classmates. What is your favourite thing under the ocean? Can you tell us why it's your favourite? Go back and listen to the story again to help you remember some facts. Take care everyone.